Hey guys, what's up? This is Joey, and today we're going to be doing a few Dr. Terror Stage walkthroughs because the new Terror Stages have dropped, and they have changed a little bit. We do have mines now, which is going to be pretty interesting to see how those play out. Now, when I'm looking at this, I don't see any mines, but they said they were going to add mines to the new Terror Stages, so there might be a few hiding in the trees. Not sure, haven't really beaten this yet, but I think we're going to find out. Now we have the two machine guns, the mortar, and then the sniper tower back there. I am going to send in my heavies followed by my zookas back here. And I'm going to actually knock out this mortar first just to get rid of it. Doesn't, it's not going to cause too much damage to my heavies, but it will end up causing quite a bit of damage to my zookas if that ever was too happen and I'm just going to focus all my troops on this last sniper tower because it's all last defense quick and easy this is a pretty easy terror stage for you guys I don't think it'll cause y'all too much of a problem it's pretty basic just knock out that mortar if you want or I mean just kind of it's easy y'all shouldn't have a problem I think y'all be good you can just knock out that mortar so it won't take out any of your riflemen just zookas etc etc but we got easy victory there got another dark fragment Awesome. And I think we're going to go straight to stage two right after this. The initial message, welcome to my grand experiment on self-replicating their weapons. Thank you for donating test subjects. We've all seen that message before. But now we're going to be scouting stage number two. Now this one is a little bit stronger. We do have a flamethrower, a cannon, and a rocket launcher. Now this cannon and the flamethrower are going to cause some serious problems for my heavies. But I'm actually going to be able to probably knock them out both out at once. Because as you see, they're both connected right here. So I'm, I'm going to be able to knock those both out with artillery strikes. Because they're connected to each other. So I can hit both of them and deal damage to both of them. So we're going to strategically pay, place three strikes right there. Right in the middle. Knock them both out. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then I'm going to send in my two Zookas. I'm going to let them take out these two minor things, these two few boxes right here, and then I'm going to let them take out this little slime box. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to let them take that out just to get some extra artillery points, and then I'm going to send them back to the missiles, the missile rocket launcher. I'm going to let them take that out because I don't. They, that thing will easily take out all of my Zookas, so I want to get rid of that before I send in my Zookas to finish off the HQ. So I'm sending in an artillery strike to help them try to knock out that launcher a little bit faster. But we're just about done, and I'm going to get ready to launch the Zookas. Okay, let's see. I think they're going to want to head over to these barrels. I don't know. They are. I'm going to let them head over to those barrels to get a few extra artillery points so I can use that on speeding up the destruction of the Dr. Terror headquarters. So we got three more, three more points, and I think they're going to head straight over to the HQ, send in a few artilleries to help speed up that process. As you can see, there's the first mine, but it did not cause too many problems for us. We did not run into it. It's the first mine we've seen, but it hasn't really caused us any problems. So we haven't really had to change our strategy too much just yet, but I think we will have to soon. Got another win. Got two dark fragments this time. Got the victory two dark fragments. I really still do like this new victory screen. I like it. It looks good. Personally, but I don't know what y'all think, but I personally really do like it. I think it looks a lot better than the first one. But we got a good amount of resources. Didn't have any casualties. Awesome. Now we're going to go on to stairs ta Terror Stage numero three. Let's check it out. Let's scout it out and see what we got. Alright, this one's going to be a little bit stronger. We have multiple mortars as well as a machine gun, sniper tower, and another mortar. Now the question is, do we take out these two mortars or do we try to take out the sniper tower and the mortar? Now personally, I'm going to take out the mortar and sniper tower, I think, because these mortars won't be able to do too much damage to my heavies and zookas, while the sniper tower will be able to do plenty. So... Hopefully we'll be able to knock out that sniper tower with four artillery strikes. Not 100% sure, but we're definitely going to find out. One, two, three, 
four. There we go. And guys, deal some damage on the machine gun. So I'm going to send in my heavies followed by my Zookas over here. And we're going to first take out this machine gun. And then we're going to head over to those mortars and just kind of move on from there. So this machine gun won't take too long. It's going to be pretty easy to get rid of with my heavies followed by my Zookas. Now I'm going to send... Now that I'm just going to have them work their way slowly over there. Now I see a boom mine type thing right there. Okay, so I'm going to send out a health pack to provide some, provide some extra health for my heavies because I see that they are going to start taking a little bit of damage from those. And that mine just completely took out of my heavy. So now you all know those mines actually do play quite an important role. I'm just going to send that artillery strike try to knock that out. Well, we got it. And that was a health pack. Whatevs. We're good. We got the victory, but I'm going to have to train another heavy. But we did get two dark fragments. Got the stones. Got the gold. Got the resources. We had one casualty. It was not too bad. Yeah, now you all know. We've got to watch out for those mines right there. But that is just about it, guys. That wraps it up for this episode. I'm just going to be doing terror stages one through three today. I may be posting 4 and 5 later this week. Keep your eyes out for those, but not guaranteed. I'll, I'll think about putting them up, but just for now, I'll have 1 through 3 up for you guys. I hope you enjoy them as well. Keep your eye out for that giveaway. Um, continue to apply. If you haven't applied yet, definitely check it out and apply. The link will be in the description. Definitely check it out. It's definitely worth applying for. It's $50, which is about 6,500 gems, and that could help you a lot. But thanks for watching, guys. Keep it here at Beecher Joe for all your boom beaching needs and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching guys